and welcome to another episode of the Live with Naz, an hour of laughter and encouragement coming to you from Southern California, cold Southern California, freezing Southern California. I'm calling FEMA Southern California. I can't take this stupid cold Southern California. That's where we are. Okay, let's see. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to episode number 380. 380. Uh, let's see. Let's get our people from the other side involved. And here we go. Let's get them going. Come on, come on, come on. I hope you guys enjoyed the podcast today with Dr. Kimberly McGregor. She is a hematologist and an oncologist. And we answered a lot of questions about cancer and about, you know, blood and about being a physician, a mother and a wife and all that good stuff. So I want to challenge you and encourage you to to go ahead and watch it. It's on this uh, Facebook page. 74 people, how are you? Sarah, how you doing? Becky Voss, how are you? Come on, everyone. I know it's not as cold as Washington State. It's not. Second. Oh, Rita's here. Hi, Rita. Hi, Rosetti. Hello. Becky Ottenberry, how are you? Come on. Larkin, how you doing, Larkin? Chris, Sarah, Teresa. Teresa from Boston, how are you? Teresa, go ahead and watch that show. I, You know, the podcast I did about cancer and hematology and oncology. It's really interesting with Dr. Kim. Dolores is here. All righty. And... And the 40s here. <sighs> Ouch. Boston is 40. California is 40. What is it? It's right here, right? I'm, I'm telling you. I'm going to tell you what is it in Corona. 43. 43. You're lying. It's minus 43. That's what it is. It's cold. It's cold. I don't like cold. I have wood that doesn't start. I have jackets and... You know, I'm wearing the heaviest thing I have for California. I have my clothes for other states when I go do Alaska and others. But let's see, Matthew Durs, hello. Paying fine for your video at Library, Wisconsin. <laughs> you paid a fine to to rent my video in Wisconsin at the library. Well-deserved money. I'm just kidding. Hello, Michael Ramirez. How are you? And coming from the other side, Timothy is here. All right, love your sweater, Naz. Did Maha put it out, pick it out for you? Actually, no. I got this from Macy's, and Maha doesn't like that kind of sweaters because it has leather on it, and I, I like some kind of leather because I'm a carnivore. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Dolores and Sarah. Edie Ward, welcome back. Hello from Alabama. We got Alabama, we got Louisiana, we got Boston, we got Nashville, not Nashville, but Tennessee. We have California, freezing cold California. We have Washington State. We have, hey, you know, other people. Where's We're going to get Texas and South Dakota anytime now. Catherine, how are you? We got Virginia, we got... Michigan coming up. So cold in San Francisco, the dogs are sticking to the trees. <laughs> it's cold and snowy out here in Washington. Yes. Elena here from Southern California at 65 here Eastern Time in um, Nashville, Wisconsin. Not Wisconsin. Uh, we have Wisconsin, but this is in Tennessee. I can't say Tennessee without saying Wisconsin, uh, Nashville. Art is here. All right, Corona and Corona. It's Naz. Hi. <laughs> All righty. It's supposed to get down to 21 tomorrow. <laughs> That's funny. I just, I would sit in my fridge and warm up. 40s. Yes, people. Pray for us. Pray for us. I don't know what to do. West Monroe, Louisiana, 70 degrees. I'll be there tomorrow for you. Alrighty, alrighty. Let's welcome. It's Tuesday night on the 28th of December, last few days of 2021. Hope 2021 was a good and not as promised, but better promises. You know, 
we still continue to work to try to change 2020. We managed, and then towards the end, mm, 2020 is trying to come back. All righty. Last night, I asked you the question, give me the name of the next variant. If we get, hopefully we don't, but let's say we get a next variant after the Omicron. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. That's not from the cold. That's from something that's allergic. Okay. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you, Tally. I'm getting allergic to my daughter. Okay. Sorry about that. It's natural. Humans. It happens to humans. I've been to West Monroe. Preach in Wins Wisner, Louisiana. That's awesome. What a small world. The TP variant. All right. This is what you guys came up with. I'm going to do them quickly. At number 20, the Omega. 19, never ending. Uh, 17, go crazy cron. Uh, 2019. Number 18, go crazy cron. Number 17, fed up variant. Number 16, the end. Number 15, the achu variant. Number 16, here we go again variant. Number 15, Fauci cron. Number 14, home alone cron. <laughs> or home alone variant. Number 14, over hypus. Number 13, COVID-20 and still counting. Number 12, die hard. Number 11, enough cron. Number 10, the 45th booster. Number 9, Disney cron. Number 8, Democron. Number 7, get out of work free pass. Number 6, Miley virus. Shoot, I really messed it up. I knew. I knew it. I knew it. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. This is uh, horrible. I'll, I'm going to read them. Number one was the Pfizer second quarter profits variant. Number two was Bob. Number three was Miley virus. Number four, get out of work free pass. Number five, Democron. Number six, Disney. Number seven, the 45th booster. Number eight, enough cron. Number nine, die hard. Number 10, COVID-20 and still going. And those are the top 10. I had to rush. After I finished my podcast today at 7, probably at 7.45, I ran to the pharmacy, picked up Carol's medications, the Norcos, and got here. And I got back to the studio at 8.05. What I normally takes me 45 minutes to an hour to prepare I had to do in 25. So I apologize. Whoever came up, Mr. Dave Ebert, the Pfizer second quarter profit variant. That was amazing. That's funny. That was number one. And number two, Mr. Wisconsin, Bob. I think he came up with Bob. And Miley Virus was Rita. So anyway, the McRib, <laughs> McRib Cron, the Rom Cron, as opposed to the as opposed to the rum cron, rum com. Dolores Eisner, sorry. <laughs> 45 miles south. How How is Carol? Carol is in pain. Today she went to the doctor and the doctor said, oh, your real pain will start today for the next six days. I don't know what kind of doctor would say that to a patient. Oh, you think you are in pain. <laughs> the next six days is going to be the painful. So that's where she's at. So it wasn't me. By the way, um, I was able to answer, to to ask most of your questions on the podcast to Dr. Kim McGregor, the oncologist. But there's questions where I knew I couldn't ask her where you say, what should I do? Because she is not allowed to answer those questions. That's your physician's question. That's something she can't be liable for. So when you say, what should I do? Or can I quit this medication? Or can I quit doing? She can't answer those. So that's why I skipped over those questions. Not because they were not important. It's just to keep all the legalities and everything right. 
I want to win the TP tonight because it has Naz. Oh, it does not. I was just sneezing. <laughs> Cookie crumb. Comicron. <laughs> Comicron. That's good. I th All right. Let's see. All right. Hi from Highland, California. She'll be working full time, people. Amy is going to be full time from 5 p.m. till 1.30 a.m. We will miss you. Pray for me. I'm scared working for a night shift. It's the easiest shift, Amy. They're easy. They're quieter. Uh -huh. And then Naz sneezes. Yeah, from the, the Achu Kran is getting to me. Okay. Let's see. Norco was El Chapo, your pharmacist. <laughs> I wish it was El Chapo. I would have got some pay. Percocet. Ticks. <laughs> Text to Krom. Text to Krom. LWC live with Krom. <laughs> what kind of doctor is that? I know. Mercy. Thank you so much. Thank you. El Cromo. <laughs> El Krom. Via Krom instead of via Krom. My wife usually tells me what I should do if I don't listen. Oh, Krom. <laughs> Hippala. Yep. Okay. Here's your question. Today, I went to see my optometrist. I'm going to get new glasses. They no longer make these, the one with the crosses on my side, which I've had three pairs exactly the same. I've always ordered the same frame and put different lenses. Well, my lenses haven't changed, so I'm getting new lenses but a new frame. So I won't have crosses. Now I have to carry my cross some other way. So give me worst name for an optometrist. Worst name or a slogan, worst name or a slogan for an optometrist. I've been going to the same optometrist for almost 20 years. She's a wonderful Christian lady. Uh, her husband was in a Bible study with me and... Brad Stein, the comedian, and it was just, okay, come on, Naz, what? optometrist, how come I miss, oh, optometrist, okay, here we go, and let's, okay, and let's do that, okay, come on, something is freezing here, okay, Okay, Mr. Facebook, be nice, be nice. Okay, here we go. Okay, penny. So give me the worst name or a slogan for optometrist. No, now you see, no you don't. No you see, no you don't. Can you see me now? Hello, Lily, I was out for happy hour. Welcome back. It's happy hour just began. Give us the worst name or slogan for an optometrist. All bad eye. <laughs> You've been framed. <laughs> Dr. Magoo. Hey, Greg Hendricks. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. I don't know if that's your first time. It's been a while, if, if not. Greg, give us what city and state you're at. Three blind minds. That's funny, Amy. Dr. Blind. <laughs> if you can read this, you are homeschooled. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good slogan. You're blind as a bat. <laughs> From Wuhan. An eye for an eye. <laughs> Dr. Googly Eye. <laughs> Googly Eye. <laughs> Hi, Rhonda. See no more. The eyes have it. The eyes have it. All right. I have new frames and they are clear. Love them. Oh, that's awesome. Squints. I can't have clear frames because I'm always losing my glasses. I need to find them. Dr. I see you. <laughs> Dr. I see you. Can you see me now? All right. Dr. Blind. I'm here, baby. <laughs> Pessimist. You old four eyes. I see dead people. <laughs> 
<laughs> is that because of happy hour or that's the name of a band? Because <laughs> Lily, <laughs> Lily is a manager at a at a funeral home. For her to see the dead people, that's like seeing money. When people see money, <laughs> Lily sees dead people. That's like cash signs. All right? <laughs> Good name for Optimus. Rhonda Wells, welcome back. Rhonda, you asked a question today about this crazy Middle Eastern guy at Costco. No, you were not racist. No. <laughs> Third eye blind. We even fit Cyclops. Sorry, that was supposed to be. Now you see, now you don't. Yeah. The Dr. Katie <laughs> Cataract. Speaking of cataract, this is this is just is this not funny? This is helpful. This is why my optometrist said she's been practicing for thirty nine years. She said normally, when people over forty, she sees some kind of fogginess, which is early signs of cataract. She goes now she sees them in people who are twenty, because of something called the LED lights, the LED lights. They're not good. They they give so much energy for your eye. So sh and plus all the screens that we look at all day. I have three screens in front of me. So anyway, she recommended that I should go to my setting and do the, what do you call it? Uh, you go to your setting and you go to the display and brightness and you put it on dark instead of light. He said it's a lot easier on your eyes if you don't want to get cataract too fast. This is helpful. This is this and the podcast. People, I am helping you live longer, see better, and eat more. Because this show somehow is going to end up into food. I can guarantee you that. Uh, except fruitcake. So anyway, she said, put it on dark and, you know, make it in the, into the night shift all night, all day. From 7 a.m., 7.01 a.m. to 7 a.m. the next day. So it's 24 hours. It's going to be on night shift for me. She said it's better for your eyes. Interesting, huh? Because the LED light is bad for you. Here we go. Another helpful hint from Nazareth. An hour of laughter and help. If you can read this, you're too close. Can't see it from my house. That's bad. See you, see me. There was a song like that. Oh, what's his name? Lina Ritchie. Dr. Poker. Poke you in the eyes. <laughs> Dr. 2020 vision. Mine eyes have seen. <laughs> Amen. Becky. <laughs> Dr. Ray Charles will see you now. <laughs> Clearly not in focus. Put trackers on your glasses. <laughs> Lends me your ear. <laughs> Now you can't see. Happy hour. <laughs> Doctor Dry Eye. <laughs> Doctor Y I. Dry Eye. That's funny. Peekaboo. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, Cataract. <laughs> there. Hey, wait. Do, do we have to hydrate and share? Oh man, I'm so behind. I'm sure Bobby told us. Hide it and share, people. There's not many of you sharing. Nine people are sharing. Thank you. Last night's show. Okay. They're really rolling over in the aisle. <laughs> oh. Walk in zigzag, walk out straight. <laughs> Dr. Stevie Wonder. Dr. Fates. Dr. Fates. Shift the eye. <laughs> Hope you're feeling better, Elena. Oh, Elena's here. That's right. Practice makes almost perfect. Yep. How many fingers do you see? <laughs> Dr. Mal, practice. <laughs> Blue light filter. Okay. That's what I need. See no evil. Stevie Wonder's place. We practice on you. Quad focal lenses in case bifocals don't work. There's blue lens glasses you can buy. Maha got one for Christmas. We didn't know what it was for. So your eyes don't get affected by screen light, right? 
Dr. Cross Eye, Dr. Blind as a Bat, working on the night shift. <laughs> seafood and seafood. I believe the night shift on our device cuts out the blue light, which is harmful for our, yes. Ray Charles Blaze, fortune teller focals. We fit you with glasses so you can see into the future. No refunds if you don't like your future. Crystal Leffler, welcome. Merry Christmas. I feel horrible. I feel horrible. I was supposed to go to the post office, but I did not because Carol had the surgery and I didn't want to go out the house. I apologize profusely. Becky Ottenberry, I had the blue light filter until a couple months ago since I am retired, not looking at screens all day. Right, Dr. Saul, <laughs> remember he was blind in Acts 9. We missed it, we're blind, it's time to see and share <laughs> spots. Ah, I see what you did there. <laughs> It's time to hydrate and shave and see, right? Isn't there the option of lenses that block the bad light? I think there is. Yeah, those are the called the blue blue light specials. ABC, I see you. <laughs> Try their magnifying glasses. <laughs> Dr. Style will not see you now. <laughs> Dr. Style will not see you now. <laughs> the blue light filter. Hmm. I can see clearly now. <laughs> Cat tracks are us. <laughs> Dr. Cataract, Dr. L-A-Z-I, Lazy Eye. You know, we can't joke about these things anymore because we used to tell a joke like this guy had a lazy eye. He was seeing another person, another person on the side. Get it? Cheating on his spouse. Uh, it's not funny. Dr. Wink and Blink Associates, can you see me? When I had my cataract uh, removed, they put stints in my eye. Oh. <laughs> is that, is that a, that's a joke, right? The stints that they keep the eyes open. <laughs> Beyond help, Dr. Lazy Eye. <laughs> Dr. Glass, Glass Eye. Clear as mud. And here's mud in your eye. Three blind mice. Naz's blue light special. <laughs> yep, Kmart. I missed that. Floaters. <laughs> Brails for you. Dr. Forey lashes. <laughs> Get it? Lashes. That's good. Loose lenses. Dr. Stay. <laughs> Dr. Kmart. Blue lens. You can add to your prescription for extra money. So worth it. Oh. Who are you again? <laughs> My security poodle is asking for attention. Oh, you have a dog, a security poodle. Okay, starey eyes, optometrist and astronomer. <laughs> Lenses, but no frames for you. Three blind mice optometry. Oh, good. Any more? Names or slogans for an optometers. Seeing dancing pink elephants. Replacement eyelids are us. Looking good. Get it? Looking good. Dr. Bigfoot. So my, so my make-believe wife told me I, took, I look better without glasses. I said, thanks. You look better without my glasses. Oh, no. <laughs> no jokes. I had glaucoma and the stints relieved the pressure in my eyes. And I don't have to do drops anymore. Interesting. I didn't know they put stints in your... Glass eyes are us. Seeing sparks. Burning, bulging. <laughs> I care. Anytime the word bulging is there. It's bad. The looking glass... The blind and the beautiful. <laughs> That's a good name, Rita, for a optimist. The blind and the beautiful. <laughs> and you walk in, the doctor say, Hi, I'm the beautiful. <laughs> Four eyes. 
Good night, everyone. Get up at five tomorrow. Ouch. Just got VTO again. Uh -huh. Like today. Off. Oh, work early today. Oh, cool. Almost forgot. Hello, everyone. Hello, Frank. How are you? I just want you to know, Frank, I'm sorry I couldn't ask all the questions today at the podcast. Dr. Third Eye, Pigsty Clinic, we help you, your hogs see better. Prisms, <laughs> prisms are us. Dr. Bug Eye, it's a pretty new procedure. Interesting. Dr. Blurry, mothers in law, <laughs> patches are better. That's okay. Thank you, Frank. Hope you feel better, man. We can fix anything. You know, I just couldn't. You know, you know, she keeps going like, is this better or is that better? You know, it's, it's 8 or 9, 9 or 10, 10 or 11. I got to a point. I'm like, okay, listen, I honestly, I'm just giving you the numbers. I'm just trying to get this over with. They all look the same to me. You know, if it's really bad, different, I'll tell you. But it's hard to have me, pressure me to compare two things that exactly the same. I don't think you click the other number. You're just putting the same picture and going, tick, 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 tick. is this better or is this better? It's the same one. So we got into an argument. And, hey, I might have to pay the price for the next two years wearing the glasses, my eyes going like that. I'm like, hey. Should have went with number nine. Number nine was better than number ten. Come look like a pirate with us. My security poodle. <laughs> Duct tape doctors. Good night. Out of focus eye clinic. Learn how to see through refracted lights with us. An eye for an eye. See you later, I care. <laughs> Good one, Rhonda. See you later, I care. We can't fix anything. We can fix anything. Let's see. We pluck planks from your eyes so you don't have to. Making you dizzy, making you dizzy glassware. Everyone order coals so I can work more hours tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> so the same thing, nine is the same as ten. It is. Optimo three. <laughs> Does this hot fudge Sunday look better than the hot fudge Sunday? Which one looks better to you? <laughs> That's right. You're not going to use it in real life. You know what I mean? Man, I say, you know... <laughs> Headlamp repair, binoculars, the optometry, Verizon Vision. Can you see me now? <laughs> Good. Cornea and Corona. <laughs> Cornea and Corona. <laughs> Braille, Braille, the gang's all here. Dr. Cross-Eyed, we wink at you. Dust in your eyes. All right, it's 9 o'clock. We can hydrate and share on time. All right, let me change the question on you. What New Year resolution you know you will not keep? Okay, I know you guys started to think about your New Year resolutions. So, what New Year resolution? You know, you will not keep. See, I gave up on saying I'm gonna I'm gonna quit coffee next year. I'm not quitting coffee. Um, I can do forty days. I can't go a whole year. So things. You know, cutting the carbs, not happening. Not talk about food on Live with Naz. That's something you can't stop. Good one. Slipping eye scalpels. scalpels. Doctor, I don't know you had the twin. 
Lens is so thick you could burn ants. Lazy eye optometry. TAC, teary eyed clinic. Winking and blinking. <laughs> Doctor, where are you? <laughs> Bearing your crossed eye. <laughs> Bearing your crossed eye. That's a Christian thing to do. Not making a New Year's resolution. Cut the grass. <laughs> That's something I'm not going to keep, right? No promises. Become a millionaire. Okay, not making any. Going to surprise myself. <laughs> Stay off social media. You can't do that. I object to all New Year's resolution. Good. Naz, at first, I thought you said that you were going to give up coughing. Coughing. Oh, coffee, not coughing. I, I'm not coughing and I can't help that. That's a natural, uh, what do you call it? It's a, it's a bodily thing I can't control, so I can't do a resolution based on that. Missing, missing with my Billy Lint, you can't stop that. Not eating chocolate. Poker, <laughs> Timothy. Stop complaining about complaining. We're just coming around, corning around. <laughs> We're shovel snow. I don't make any, can't follow through. Good for you, that's right. Not to mention Fern too. And <laughs> oh, that. You can't stop that one, huh? <laughs> I know you couldn't in 2021. I don't expect you to do it in 2022 michael but my tea drinking habit oh read a book from beginning to the end michael <laughs> shaving my back <laughs> ouch love you hugs miss you all hot mail get back to work oh we love you too crystal stay warm getting married you're not gonna do that you're not gonna make that Resolution. Give up coffee. Coffee. <laughs> you can't give up wakey juice. Oh, coffee. Yeah. Oh, no, my current don't want to friend you now. He's not. It, not. it doesn't look good. Especially after tonight. I don't think he's looking. Natural reflex. Yes. Give up sleep. Nope. Biting my toes. You're so flexible, Rita. You can, I would love to do that if I can bite my toes. <laughs> I can. Letting my hair grow down to my knees. <laughs> oh, Art. Of course. Don't stop. <laughs> Learn Spanish unless I marry a Latino. Oh, hope that crazy glue won't stick to my fingers. <laughs> Wait, is that a New Year resolution, Rita? Or that's because you picked the lane? <laughs> Stop eating. Wrapping my legs behind my neck, <laughs> yelling at the microwave to hurry up. Good New Year resolution we're not going to have to deal with. Give up soda. Thanks for stopping by. All right. Can't give up laughing with you all. Fitting in spandex. <laughs> the generous couple of listen to the show now. You know what? Not really. Only if sometimes he does. You know what? I have to say yes because sometimes he would say something like if he's in a difference. Like one time he was in Morocco and then uh, we were talking the next day. He goes, yeah, I like that uh, question yesterday. It's like, oh, okay. So, yeah, he might be watching. You never know. But not tonight, I think. He has a girlfriend and he's busy with her. You know, they go to movies, concerts. So, juggling, running, chain songs. <laughs> oh, Art, of course you're not going to stop that. Yelling at my TV. Chris Martel, welcome. I haven't made a New Year's resolution since high school. Good for you, right? Getting the coronavirus again. You can't. Talking about stolen, I mean borrowed TP. Yes. I have I have this now. I don't need to worry about it. Yep. This one. 
Okay. What do we got? Not giving up eating in and out burger double double. Oh yeah, I can't quit that. Waiting on Ness to show up in those leggings. <laughs> Not happening. It's too cold. I would have today, but it's too cold. <laughs> Putting straws up my nose. Why? <laughs> Waiting on Ness's legging pit. Okay. Give up skydiving. That's right. You gonna do it again, Elena? Look, you went skydiving and you got COVID. Even up there, it's not safe, huh? Wear a mask more. <laughs> All righty. It is time for the Guinness Book of World Record, people. Guinness Book of World Record. I'm not giving up on one day meeting Naz in person. I guarantee you, God willing, it will happen. Not giving up my Jesus juice. Amen. Replacing the sugar with salt shaker. Not happening. Yes. Oh, she wants to do that again. Elena wants to go skydiving. I'm on Texas time. Rhonda. And work in the morning. Thank God my office is two doors down. Good evening. Thank you, Rhonda, for joining us. Alrighty, let's see. I'm afraid to ask what that is. And Jesus choose me too. Oh, ask for a price check at the dollar store. <laughs> Eating mozzarella sticks from Burger King, they're just too good to give up. Oh, really? They have mozzarella sticks? Oh, those. Oh, yeah, the breaded ones. Oh, yeah, they're good. Oh, yeah, they're good. 82 plus 20, 1400. Okay, let's go to the Guinness Book of World Record, people. Today is National Playing Cards Day. On Christmas, that's what we did as a family. We played because we couldn't go anywhere. We played uh, uh, Uno. And we were laughing so hard. Me, Tally, Maha, and John. Because Carol was in pain. She was in her room. So... It's so much fun. It was so much fun. We were laughing so hard. And between me and John and Maha, of course, it's funny. We're just cracking it up. And then Tally won, of course. But it's funny. It's just, I haven't, you know what, this Christmas, it's a, and then we had a feast at home. Maha made some lamb brack. She made Cornish hens. She made some stuffed cabbage she made some other stuff i mean a lot of food just for the family and i you know i really pray for everyone who does not have a family i mean and for me this covid has been just a wonderful time for me to to be able to spend it with my kids you know and to be with carol as she went through all this last year all the er rooms hospitals all that so Praise God. But playing cards, today is National Playing Card Day. And the record for the largest collection of playing cards belongs to Liu Fo Chang from China. How many different sets of playing cards he had? Over 10,000, under 15,000. Over 10,000, under 15,000. Give me your best three bits um, or numbers. Night Ronda. I got to go now. Thanks, Timmy. Hope you feel better. Give up Mexican food. I can't do that. My wine, you can't give. She just came from happy hour. That's your Jesus juice. <laughs> lily, lily, lily. <laughs> you call it that. It's, it's, it's good. Ness, if you're ever in Michigan, make a pit stop in Hellsdale at Burger King. I thought all Burger King have the same menu. Why do I have to fly to Michigan? I mean, I'd love to. If you know a big church or a, in Michigan, I'd love to come. I'm coming in February to Ohio. So, National Playing Cards Day. One mile of cards. Ask a child to open my med bottle. <laughs> you want <laughs> to? Thanks for stopping. Let's see. Bathing my cat. You want to stop that? <laughs> She got an amen from Bobby for that 
Jesus juice. I thought so, but Jesus juice sounds a little scary. <laughs> My follow-up doctor appointment tomorrow. All right. We're praying for you, brother. Please keep praying for our leaders and nations. We will do that at 9.23. Sarah, oh, we're back to food. <laughs> we're there all made in China. <laughs> I don't know. Art, Art, you could have won yesterday. Yesterday, the answer was between 5,000 and 10,000, and the correct answer was 9,800 something. You could have easily won it yesterday, but Sarah got it. So today... Between 10,000 and 15,000. Art said 14,999, 14,998, and 14,997. The last Christmas for me, Bahambag. Chris said 10,456, 11,523, and 14,999. Teresa said, Teresa is over, five, over 10,000. Sold. <laughs> Not yet. 10, 5, 13.5 and 14.500 for Sarah. Last night's winner. Good night, Chris. 13.400, 14.200, 13.759 for Lily. My wife. 10.909 for 13.456 and 14.122 for Becky both. Frank said 10.750, 13.500 and 14.125. Becky Ottenberry said 12,255, 13,255, and 14,255. Dolores said 10,017, 13,110, and 14,263. <laughs> Teresa said 12,334. Rita taken instead, taken instead of giving money as the offering plate passes by. <laughs> Rita's not making any New Year resolution. <laughs> All in. 14501, 14750, and 14850 for Bobby Miller. <laughs> Lily said salt. Matthew, 13555, 14555, and 15555. Sold out. <laughs> Waiting for your answer. <laughs> okay. 10123, 12345, and 14567 for Elena. Rita. Said 11,000, 13,000, 15,000. Last call, sold out. 11,477 for Teresa Bedo tripping over my Velcro shoes. <laughs> you won't do that. Last call at the bar. The Rooster and Ruby, the Red Hand, don't really play cards games much except apples to apples. I don't know that game. It's uh, Probably it's foul. 13,400, 14,200, and 13,759 for Michael Ramirez. I feel lucky tonight. 12,345, 15,000, 13,456. Teresa said 11,345. And going once. Oh, by the way, hydrate and share before we give you the number. Okay. Go, Michael. Sold, sold, sold. I'm not giving up cracking up over Rita's jokes. <coughs> Stand in the express line with a full cart. <laughs> I hope we win. All right. Here's the answer. The record for the largest collection of playing cards belongs to Liu Fo Chang from China with 11,087 different sets of playing cards. And the winner is Rita. While Rita was so busy coming up with new resolutions she will not keep this year, she won this beautiful toilet paper. Congratulations, Rita. Hardworking Rita. Funny Rita. You got it. Congratulations. Use less TP in 22. That's not good. I know you feel lucky, Lily, but I'm sorry. I can't believe it. Yes, you did. You won, Rita. For a change, you haven't won in a long, long time. Rita, <laughs> and don't give Michael Ramirez any. He has some. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, your last question for the night, people. I think that came from Rochelle. And the question is, quotes you probably never see cross-stitch on a pillow. Let's see, that's a long question. Long thing, so let's get it out here. 
Okay. Hello. Hello. Okay, here we go. Okay, here's the question. Oh. I need some TP. No, you don't. <laughs> Be careful, Rita. He sneezed on it. No, I sneeze on this. That's new. See? This? Is 9 better than 10? Is 10 better than 9? Michael? Is this it? Is this better or is this better? Man, I should take more beauty breaks. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> that was Dolores said, that's not Michael, sorry. Hydrate and sh <laughs> I can hardly wait till tomorrow. I get prettier every day. <laughs> Are you going to use that? <laughs> Help, let me out. <laughs> Something you won't see. Stitch. Will you be sneezing into my <laughs> the pillow? <laughs> Question, what are some of Naz's quotes on Made in the USA? <laughs> you won't see that. <laughs> you must be mistaken. Stand back six feet. It's a small world. <laughs> okay, I've got you covered. <laughs> Get it. I saw this quote on a pillow once. Smile because you're smile because you're my sister. I laugh because there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Good. The pillow is to keep me from punching you. <laughs> Look behind you. <laughs> E.T. Too brute. Joey. Joey is back. Ladies and gentlemen. Our chef, the new new homeowner, is this? You are now completely moved in. Hope you're doing great. You're healed. Your family's healed. Praise God for you. E.T. 82 Brute. Have you rotated your tours? <laughs> you must be mistaking me for someone who cares. Tires. Oh, have you rotated your tires? You won't see that on a pillow. Unless you're a mechanic. No drooling allowed. Stuff cash in here. Run. Whoa. Yeah. Peaceful protest. <laughs> Hide the silverware here. Joey, you've got any more salsa recipes? <laughs> That's right. Alrighty. Quotes you will not see cross stitch into a pillow. You can save 15% by switching to Geico. Ruby the rooster feather pillow. <laughs> uh oh. Put your mask back on. That's funny. I'm the reason you haven't seen the rooster lately. Pillow. A friend is one of the nicest things you can have. <laughs> oh no, not you again. <laughs> Jewelry hid inside. <laughs> How about insomnia? <laughs> the insomnia is for sissies. That's what it says. That's my quote for it. May I interest you in some essential oil? The fried chicken was really good. One too many pillows. Okay. Last chance to give me quotes you'll probably never see. Cross stitch into a pillow. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> Step away from the pillow. You're standing too close. Ouch. Did you forget to shave? <laughs> Downer pillow. 
downer. I'm softer than a baby's bottom. <laughs> I say 15% today by not switching to Geico. Seriously. Oh, wow. <laughs> the one hugs you'll ever get. The only hugs you'll ever get. I ain't my pillow. <laughs> pillow fight. Alrighty, it's 923 people. It is time for your prayer request. I thought we were friends. Take the zipper and use it. <laughs> Any more tears in me and I'll be a waterbed. <laughs> Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> this pillow was made from genuine dinosaur skin. Ouch. All right, guys. Let's give you the prayer request you need. Pray for Carol. You know, she got this. Norco medicine and she doesn't like it so keep her keep her in prayer that she won't be in pain tonight during the night so that she gets some sleep pray for uh, Timothy Fakhuri he said to pray for him and and pray for Bobby Miller's hands pray we got unspoken prayers for Sarah we have prayers more rain and snow you punch Frank wants more rain and more snow I'm a wet blanket. Stuff me under your shirt when you get randomly checked. <laughs> this pillow was made from a... <laughs> oh, no. Okay, pray for me as I'm transferring to the on-site hotel next week. We'll be praying for you. Pray for Amy's new job hours. Uh, pray for... Uh, let's see. Uh, Elena. Elena has COVID. Pray for her. Pray for all the people going through COVID that it will be easy. Pray that this whole thing is over fast so we don't have to go back to that all that stuff. Caution, pillow pressure. Pray. Pray for uh, Matthew Dirks and his family as he's recovering completely from COVID leftover side effects pray for the people who have the omnicorn variant including the ones i know i know so many we know that have it now pray for marriages of people we know we will all righty Pray for the country that it doesn't get shut down again like I'm hearing it might. Yeah, I hope not. I hope not. I hope not. Uh, what do you call it? Today, if you didn't have the chance to listen to the podcast with Dr. Kim, the last few minutes was very encouraging. Now, Dr. Kim McGregor, she's a hematologist and an oncologist, but she was talking about, she's no longer, she does not practice medicine anymore, but she is a scientist at, she's still a physician, but she's in research. And what she said about cancer is very promising. She said there's, they have new researches and new treatments that's coming up that's really going to help people. Uh, especially the immunotherapy. The immunotherapy are showing good, good promises for people who are having cancer. And then also, she, there's so many things that she said that was very helpful. Like, you know, don't be panicky. Don't be assuming you're going to get cancer and live in that anxiety or people who had cancer already and they were healed. She was saying, don't just don't be, don't be anxious, like, oh, I'm gonna, I might get it back. It's gonna come back. It's gonna come back. So, just very encouraging, I thought personally, and I wanted to, to just com convey that to you and encourage you. And uh, read your Bible. That's the most encouragement you can have. Read the Word of God. See how, when you hear about the Lord saying, you know. In Isaiah, it talks about the Lord. It says he is wonderful unto us. A child uh, is given unto us. A son is born, and the governor will be upon his shoulder, and she will be called Wonderful 
Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. Everlasting Father. You know, you know what a father does. The father protects, the father provides, the, and a good father. I'm not, and I'm not saying a, a deadbeat father or a, a drunk father or a horrible dad. I'm just saying a healthy father provides, protects, and gives wisdom. And that's what our Heavenly Father is. He's a good, good father. We sang the song with, with Chris Tomlin. But he is a good, good father. He will provide for you. He knows your needs. He will take care of it in his timing. He will give you wisdom and he will protect you. So put your faith and trust in him. And that, that's, I pray that next year that would be one of your resolutions is to put your faith and trust more in the Lord. You know, mine is going to be, I want to love people more. I want to be more loving than ever, uh, than I was in the past. So I love you guys. I thank you so much for watching with us. And uh, just thank you for a great show tonight. Elena, thank you. Praying that God answer all these requests tonight. He's a good God. Amen. Yes, I love you guys. Have a great night.